This morning, violent wildfires in Northern California are threatening thousands of buildings. The Valley Fire has chased families in several communities out of their homes. 23,000 people are displaced this morning. Flames have destroyed around 750 homes and more buildings are at risk. The fire killed retired teacher Barbara McWilliams. The 72-year-old who suffered from multiple sclerosis could not escape. The Valley Fire north of San Francisco is considered one of the most destructive in California history. Danielle Nottingham is in Middletown where flames leveled much of the town. Danielle, good morning. Good morning. The Valley Fire has already destroyed nearly 97 square miles. Thousands of homes are still threatened, and firefighters have their work cut out for them. This fire is only 10% contained. On the front lines, firefighters working to contain the Valley Fire are facing strong winds and drought-dry tinder. For the first time since the massive fire started Saturday, clearer skies allowed air support to drop water from above. But for many returning home, the damage is already done. The fast-moving fire, pushed by wind gusts of up to 30 miles an hour, engulfed entire blocks in a few hours. I'm a pretty tough individual, but I had some tears. Roger Beavers returned to find his home still standing, but his neighbors, like hundreds of others, lost everything. Once they come back in here, it's going to be very overwhelming. The fire moved so quickly Saturday night that emergency responders were flooded with calls. She's like, no, I'm fine. It's going to be fine. She didn't understand the magnitude of it. Jennifer Hitson was 72-year-old Barbara McWilliams's caretaker. McWilliams was killed in the fire when she was unable to evacuate. Deputies say when they reached her neighborhood, it was engulfed in flames. I knew she was in the house. I knew she was going to be stuck, and I knew that she would have no way of getting out. California has seen 1,500 more fires this year than at this time last year. Firefighters say the exceptionally dry conditions make it hard for crews to get control of the fire. Have you ever seen anything like this in your career? I have, uh, unfortunately. We are beginning to see more events like this, and certainly the drought situation that California is facing uh, was a big contributor to how fast this fire spread. Cooler temperatures and higher humidity are on the way, which should help firefighters increase containment. This photo of firefighters resting in a driveway gives you a sense of the exhaustion crews are feeling after days on the front lines. It could take weeks to get this massive fire fully contained. Charlie. Thanks, Danielle.